Please give the band and the cheerleaders a round of applause. You guys deliver every place, every time. Uh, you're all over campus. You're supporting all kinds of events. We don't take it for granted. We really appreciate what you do. Thank you one more time. I was, I was very nervous that we called you all here and that our star was headed back to Dallas because it was 201. I couldn't find anybody, but you're here. Very good. Um, you know, most of you know that we, uh, as a university, we're in the middle of a tremendous amount of expansion. Uh, this year alone, there's about $175 million worth of buildings going up on the campus. Uh, four new six-story dorms, uh, 160,000 square foot engineering building, uh, a general use classroom building with a music studio, a new parking garage. There's just a tremendous amount of expansion going on here. Uh, most of it put into academic endeavors. Uh, but you probably also know that we're very excited about what we do in the performance areas here. Music is exploding, uh, theater, dance, uh, debate, uh, and of course we're in the second year of our Division I athletic expansion. Uh, we've had the privilege of uh, attracting some very important people uh, in the valley and across the country to Grand Canyon University to help us uh, with what we're doing in athletics. Obviously, with, with Mr. Colangelo's presence, with Coach Marley's presence, and then most recently, us being able to hire somebody of Mike Vaught's caliber and experience has been tremendous. Um, most of you also know that, that we have 22 sports here, and, and, and our goal is to have every one of them being in the top 25 in the country. And we're moving down that track. That is possible here. Uh, with our resources and, and with the people that we have coming here, that is possible. Um, soccer is uh, the most important game in the world. It's the most important sport in the world. Uh, it's the fastest, many people say, growing sport in Arizona, uh, in the country and in Arizona. And especially soccer is important to the west side of Phoenix. Uh, you can go out into our neighborhoods and see kids playing soccer on every empty piece of dirt or grass in the neighborhood. Uh, it's a community building sport. It's a sport that's not just important to the country, but it's important to the world. Um, many of you know that we don't have a football program here. Uh, we are going to elevate soccer here uh, to be a premier sport, uh, especially because we need a premier sport in the fall. Uh, and so in order for us to get started on that, we hired a man that, uh, has incredible experience and who has contacts nationally and internationally. Uh, he hit the ground running and this is his first big move and it's a big move. Um, so I, with that, I would like to introduce uh, a person that's becoming a very good friend of mine, very important to the university and important to the future of athletics in Arizona, our new athletic director, Mike Vaught. Great group to hear today here. Thanks so much for coming. This is a very exciting day for uh, GCU and uh, our athletics department. I want to begin by just saying thank you to a few people. Um, first, thanks to President Mueller. Uh, you guys heard me say this when we started day one. Uh, we have a president that doesn't tolerate athletics, but he celebrates athletics. And you got to have that uh, leadership at a university to be successful and go where we want to go. He has a great team. Uh, with Stan Meyer, uh, Dan, where's Dan, and uh, Brian Roberts. Love these guys. They have made things possible for us here uh, to do some great things, and I really appreciate it. It's honored to be a part of their team, actually, and we're all excited about that. I also want to thank uh, two new uh, people on my staff, our Deputy Athletic Director, Jamie Boggs. I don't know if she's here somewhere. And uh, Assistant Athletic Director, Renee Gonzalez. Uh, they played a big part in this search. It's not easy to do a search during the holidays, especially a natural, uh, national search. And uh, they put some time in during the holidays to, to all the logistical efforts that go through this. And I uh, really want to thank them for making this uh, possible today. Uh, just before Christmas, we started a national search. And uh, we shoot high. 
You know, our goal is to be 20, top 25 in everything we do. So we shoot for the stars and we targeted one person from day one, we knew who we wanted. Um, let me just give you a little idea. We had probably 100 people contact us about this. It's a great opportunity. Uh, it's gonna be great for GCU. Uh, but let me just read to you three things that we thought uh, we wanted to, to put an emphasis on in this search. A person of integrity that can be a mentor for our student athletes. We want to produce great young people, not just great athletes, but people who are going to impact their community, impact this country, and have leadership skills. Proven champion with head coach experience at the Division I level. We definitely check that box with this hire. And someone that strives for excellence on a daily basis in every area of their life. This person is incredible in that area. And when that was very important to us when we were looking at candidates. Um, before I introduce our new head coach, I don't want to take much time. I want him to spend some time with you. Um, I'm just going to read you four bullets here. MLS Coach of the Year, six winningest coach in NCAA history, NCAA postseason qualifier for 30 out of 31 years, and he's already in various halls of fame, and I just got word that in about two months he's going to be inducted in another one. We can't tell you where, but it's a big honor for him, and it's an honor for us uh, to have him here with us today. Various quotes, you know, running across the monitors today, and a lot of people think this guy's probably the best college soccer coach in NCAA history, and we tend to agree with him. We're excited to have him here. How about a great GCU welcome for our new head soccer coach, Charles Hyman. Uh, good morning. It's uh, definitely a pleasure. It's a, it's a little bit overwhelming uh, to see all of you here, to take the time to be here, to welcome me and my, my wife to, to your great university. I'll, I'll start off by saying, when, you, when you're working someplace, uh, I always use the three Ps that are so very important to me. The first P is purpose. And I felt that there's a purpose here for me to make the soccer team stronger, to bring great joy and success for Grand Canyon University and the purpose of making people better. So there's a purpose for me. The other P is place. And I must tell you, I don't know much about Phoenix. I only, been, I only spent a week here when I brought my FC Dallas team in and we train uh, because of such wonderful weather. And the thing that impressed me was how friendly the people were in this community. And I've studied a little bit about Phoenix, and I've seen all the things that you have here in the city. And uh, we're really glad to be here. And the third P is about people. And I know I'll get to know you better, but you, we've all been around jobs, especially people my age, where the job was, was a perfect job, but you might not enjoy the people you work with. And I've got a chance to meet the people today in the athletic department, and I so deeply thank you for taking the time to say hello and make me and my wife feel welcome. A little bit about me. I grew up in a place called Macau, China. It was, um, my family were living in Shanghai for many, many years, about 400 years. And uh, <laughs> not them in particular, but uh, others. And, uh, and communism came in and they, they fled to Macau. We had a Portuguese passport. And then it got pretty tough there. So we came on a ship, spent about uh, three months, four months, who knows, and, uh, and we were in the bottom of the ship. At certain hours, we could come up and breathe the air, and then we had to go down to the bottom of the ship. But we came here as refugees, and we, we were, the Catholic Church helped us. They, they got us on the ship, and I'll always remember that. And when we got here, things were difficult. My father was, was killed in an accident, and I was a, a young man on the street. I made some mistakes, and thank God, uh, I found my way and played soccer at Eastern Illinois University, played professionally, and I just loved the sport so much that I went all over the world to get better and coached at my alma mater, and then I coached at Southern Methodist University for many, many years, 24 to be exact. And when an opportunity came to go into uh, the MLS, and those opportunities had come earlier, but it was never really the right time in my life. And I think I chose that one because uh, 
the owner had played for me. His son had played for me at SMU. And, um, and I thought this would be a nice opportunity for me to go and coach at the highest level. Well, I just finished my contract in, in uh, December 1st. And Mike called me, and thank you so very much, uh, uh, Mr. Vaught, for calling me and seeing if I, had a, if I had a choice, if I wanted to get back into coaching. And I told him I would look at it, think about it, talk with my wife. And when I came down here and visited and met so many great people, and President Mueller in particular, and, and what he saw and what he's accomplished at this university and what he saw soccer in the future, for people who aren't involved in soccer very much, I can tell you, this doesn't happen very often. This does not happen in the sport of soccer. I think our sport is growing tremendously. And in this community, you have so many raw, talented players that, that are looking for opportunities. And Grand Canyon University is the only Division I team in this state of Arizona with the hundreds and thousands of players that are playing here we feel like this is going to be a great opportunity to recruit those players and make Grand Canyon University proud and be recognized as a force in Division I. So I'm extremely excited. Um, I'm going to, as I said earlier, I'm going to get, get into work and be running from the day one. And um, we hope to make everyone proud. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you very much for being here. As you can see, uh, the, uh, when he decided to come and visit, that was an honor for us. Uh, somebody that has accomplished what he's accomplished. But then when we got in a meeting with him, for him to be uh, a very humble person and, and to also express that he was honored that he was here, it was just, it was, a, it was uh, we were very excited. We're very excited. We're very excited that you're here, that your wife is here, and we're very excited how we can get behind you and support you. I only had two jobs when I came up here the first time, and I didn't do either one. So very quickly, <laughs> thank you to the media for being here. We very much appreciate you coming here and covering this event. Thank you very much. Thank you for all the student athletes that are here, for the students that are here, for our staff and faculty. Thank you for coming and supporting this. The other thing I want to say is we try to, do, we try to build community in everything that we do. Uh, and we're building a new facility, uh, the, what was cur currently called Mariposa Lawn, which is the turf field, which is just um, east of the south gym. That turf is going to be lifted up and taken up to the grove where the four new six-story dormitories are going to go in. There's going to be two turf fields, practice fields up there for soccer, lacrosse, for intramurals. They'll be lit, so there'll be more, more practice uh, uh, facilities for lots of teams and for intramurals. In where the Mariposa lawn is currently will be a new soccer stadium. Uh, you see a little bit of it here. There'll be a full uh, grandstand stadium that will be covered. It will seat between 2,800 uh, and 3,000. It will be permanent seats. There'll be seat backs. It'll be very comfortable. It'll be completely covered. Uh, State-of-the-art sound system is going to go in there. Uh, and then we're going to build uh, grass berms about 10 feet tall around the other three sides of the field. Uh, college students like to sit on grass. Uh, and we're going to give college students a lot of grass to sit on. Uh, nice grass. Um, and so we really hope uh, by, and this, this stadium is going to be completed uh, by the start of soccer season uh, next year. Uh, and we really hope that as students come back after the summer, that they'll be very excited about this new venue. We're going to also use the venue for, uh, it'll be a grass field. We will use the venue for a lacrosse, uh, and we'll use the venue somewhat for, um, for uh, rugby. Uh, but there's, also, there's a lot of other uses. Um, Tuesday night possibilities for the gathering uh, could be there. Uh, outdoor concerts can be held there. It's right in the middle of campus. It'll be in an area where there'll be a lot of traffic. Um, and so we think we can get people excited about having that experience right in the middle of campus. Um, the plans were in place before we had a new soccer coach. 
But because we have this new soccer coach, they're being accelerated, and it will be done by the start of soccer season. We're very, very excited about it. Um, thank you again. Uh, I can either answer questions, or Coach can, or uh, Mike can, if there's any questions or comments or suggestions. It was Mike Vaught because uh, Mike worked with Coach for a lot of years. And um, we honestly, we didn't interview anybody else. When he was able to get him to come and visit, um, obviously somebody who has 500 wins at the NCAA level, 24 years at SMU, uh, somebody who there is going to be a national conference, uh, soccer conference coming up here next week. And the, the keynote speaker at that conference, which will be attended by thousands of speakers, are, is our new soccer coach. And so to, in my world, which is a little, I know a little bit more about basketball than I do about soccer, uh, I looked at uh, Mike and said, I think we're talking about the Mike Krzyzewski of soccer. Is that correct? <laughs> and he said, yes, that would be an appropriate analogy. And I said, well, how much money does he want then? We don't need to talk about this anymore. <laughs> And so that, it, it, it didn't last very long. But obviously, we, you know, everybody that interviewed him connected with him as a person. With all his success, he's very humble. Uh, he's very community-oriented. Um, and that's a big part of this thing. You know, if you, 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 you walk, you know, you, you know all the things that we've got going in the West Valley um, and with the lifting of the public school systems and all the partnerships and, and um, all the ministry that's going on in the West Valley, but soccer is a community building thing for the West Valley. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's a sport that is the premier sport and, and kids get excited about it. And we wanna run large youth programs here and get kids excited that, so that over time we're building our own, our future superstars. And so, uh, did that, that help a little bit with that? Other questions or comments or suggestions? Mike Vaught is here as well. And the other thing that I was supposed to say that I did not, I'm getting at that age when I'm going to have to write notes. I was supposed to talk about the stadium. I've now done that. I was also supposed to say, uh, and I did not, that there is now there only one Division I soccer program in the state of Arizona, uh, and that is at Grand Canyon University. That is a, that is a, that's something that we're very cognitive of some. something that we are going to build on. We are going to build on that. I mean, this, this, this I believe, will be a destination place for the best players in the country, uh, Grand Canyon University. So thank you so much. I want to say thank you especially to um, our new soccer coach and his wife, to Mike, to the media for being here, to our student athletes, thank you for being here, to our students for being here. Uh, and for the rest of the faculty and staff. Uh, thanks for being here, and we really look forward to how this thing is going to happen and evolve over the course of the next number of months.